China is planting a giant green wall of trees to slow down the expansion of the Gobi Desert, which threatens to envelop its northern cities. The Great Green Wall project is being lauded as one of the most ambitious reforestation efforts ever attempted, but experts warn it could take another century for the 3,000-kilometer barrier to succeed. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look at China's grand plan for a Great Green Wall. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. The Great Green Wall is planned to run from near the Yellow Sea across the north of the country and into Kazakhstan. China hopes to stabilize its northern border as a result of this project, which will also provide businesses with raw materials for building products. China's Great Green Wall creates a habitat for endangered species, including the Siberian tiger and Tibetan antelope. This project is expected to be completed in 2050 with a total investment of 1.6 trillion yuan or 210 billion US dollars. The concept of a Great Wall of Trees has been around since ancient times. Historically, China's mountainous border regions were vulnerable to incursions by foreign armies. In modern times, greater environmental destruction due to increased industrialization and urbanization has led to greater biodiversity loss as well. The proposed project hopes to reverse these trends by creating forested corridors that span the entire length of China's border areas. The project is a massive undertaking aimed at stemming the advance of the Gobi Desert, which has been expanding northward since the 1970s. The wall will cover 1.6 million square miles by 2050, and in doing so create a better environment for plants, humans, and livestock. To achieve this goal, Beijing plans to plant 66 billion new trees over 30 years. The world's biggest man-made forest is set to become a reality inside China, with more than 80 billion new trees planted along a 4,000-mile strip of land that bisects 15 provinces from west to east. The project began in 1978 and involves planting trees to prevent soil erosion and protect against sandstorms. It has been hailed internationally as a world first, but faces many challenges, including funding shortages and an ongoing trade war with the United States. The fourth phase of the initiative, which began in 2003, consists of two parts, using aerial seeding to cover large amounts of land where the soil is less parched, and providing farmers with financial incentives to plant trees and bushes in more arid places. A $1.2 billion project will help stabilize shifting sand dunes, protect against dust storms, and slow down climate change in this region. The oversight system, including mapping and surveillance databases, is also to be implemented, along with a belt of sand-tolerant vegetation arranged in checkerboard patterns to stabilize the sand dunes. China's tree planting program is an ambitious effort to reverse desertification and improve rainfall. The project uses satellite imagery, resource surveys, and data analysis to identify areas suitable for afforestation and then offers farmers financial incentives if they agree to plant trees. China has faced some criticism for its approach. Some say the project wastes money on planting forests where none should be grown, but there's little doubt that it's helped create a thick green belt along the country's northern edge. China, a country heavily reliant on fossil fuels, has been arguing that its Great Green Wall will be a major weapon in reducing emissions, especially as trees are thought to absorb more carbon dioxide than much slower-growing forests. Some scientists have also raised concerns about the lack of biodiversity in this planned wall of trees, but China has countered that monoculture plantations are actually better at absorbing carbon dioxide than slow-growth forests. In 2011, China had 1.73 million square kilometers of land that had turned into desert, of which 530,000 square kilometers could be treated. However, if treatment continued at the current rate of 1,717 square kilometers per year, it would take 300 years to recover the desertified region. That the weak terrain cannot support such tremendous forced growth is a source of concern. The goal of the Great Green Wall is to slow the spread of deserts. Millions of acres of trees are being planted in a continuous line to create barriers between existing forests and what is becoming desert. As the largest artificial forest in the world and with no end in sight, China's strategy for reversing desertification is truly spectacular. It has already planted 100 million hectares of trees since 1978, an area larger than France. So what is your opinion about the Great Green Wall? 
Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.